We're live at Arlen Studios in Austin right now with David Ramirez. David, it's great to see you again, man. Thanks for doing this. Great to be here. Yeah. It's nice to see you on Austin. Yeah. Yeah, man. Your backyard. It's, I mean, this has been one of the total delights of being here in, uh, or doing this on the road and no longer having a, uh, you know, a New York studio. Having a New York studio was cool, but it's nice to be able to meet you on your home turf. And I agree. Uh, it's real nice to be back with Paste. Yeah. Indeed, Missed you man. guys. Yeah. I, we miss you too. And it's been, what has it been? Like 10 days since we saw you last? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 10 days that I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So it seems like three years, yeah. honestly. Yeah. yeah, that's right, man. So, well, dude, we're about to share a lot of your music with the internet. One of the two of those songs are going to be from the most recent record, My Love is a Hurricane, and we're hearing two brand new unreleased songs as well. What do you feel like doing first today? I'm going to do an unreleased one. This is called <clears throat> Friends Forever. <laughs> I don't need a lover, I don't need a lover I need a friend With the world going under There's power and numbers Together we could win We've all been the shutters Fully recovered Glory bound And hell bound I'm strong on my own But I could do better If you would step in And help me up over the fence Forget all the heart-shaped boxes Filled with chocolates I prefer a steady handshake From a heart made of oak A homie with whom to roll Ride or die Whatever it takes I don't need a romantic candlelit Pull out my chair before I see it Love I'm dying for that to end Won't you please just be my friend Forever I don't need a lover I don't need a lover Trust me I'm spent Each and every dollar, all I've acquired, no clue where it went. Broken, single, ready to mingle, no longer bound by the bullshit. Yeah, I'm strong on my own, but I could do better if you would step in and help me up over the fence. Forget all the heart-shaped boxes Filled with chocolates I prefer a steady handshake From a heart made of oak A homie with whom to roll Ride or die, whatever it takes I don't need a romantic candle Pull out my chair before I see it I'm dying for all that you am Won't you please just be my friend Forever Forever Cause I'm strong on my own But I could do better If you would step in And help me up over The fans Oh no, 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 no I don't need a lover I don't need a lover I need a friend Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
Crowd goes wild. Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you, crowd. It's wonderful to have all of you here giving a little bit of energy back to that man there. We've got plenty of people on the internet and seven of us, I believe, here in this room. So thank you for this semi-private, but internet uh hello internet consumed performance here yeah. man um where are you at in terms of new music so that one was that just that like hot off the presses in the last couple of weeks that you wrote that song or have these been through iterations and recorded and in some phase of production right now yeah i wrote that maybe uh in may i think yeah and uh this summer i went into a studio and did a <clears throat> recorded like five or six new songs that had kind of been sitting in hard drives and, and whatnot. And um, so it's nice to have them on, on tape. And I'll release that sometime, hopefully, before the end of the year. Outstanding. Yeah, stoked. Yeah. Good for you, man. That's, we'll Thank we'll you. stay tuned very much for that. I mean, it sounds delightful here in the, in the uh, solo acoustic environment. You guys, you obviously, I'm a big fan of what you do. So thanks, thanks for Brad. doing it here in this room. Um, is it, can you talk at all about what people can expect from the studio version and the, the instrumentation and what the, what the arrangement looks like for the, for the full recorded version? Yeah, that one, I mean, there's a band on it, but we, you know, it's not like a huge rocker. It's real low key. You know, there are three acoustic guitars. The fun thing about this EP is we did it all live, 100%. Even the mix was live. So as we're tracking there in the control room, mixing it live to tape. So there was no going back and if we wanted to fix something, we had to do the whole thing over again. So that was a fun song because most of the other tunes, you know, there's like some rockers on there and, you know, a lot of things happening. But that one, we all just sat down with three acoustic guitars and like a really broken down drum kit. And it was a really sweet moment for all of us fellas in that room. We're like, yeah, I don't need a lover. I don't need a lover. All a single little sad, sad baby boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're the same age as adults, man. It seems like at some point we would uh, uh, not be sad little baby boys, but I don't know, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, as my age increases, I don't feel myself necessarily maturing uh, concurrent to my <laughs> as age. As I grow older, the sadness <laughs> increases. Yeah. Yeah. Man, well, thank you for doing it Thanks here today. And uh, there's a lot of your music still to be shared with the audience. What do you feel like doing second today? I'm going to do the first track off uh, My Love is a Hurricane. This is called Lover, Will You Lead Me? Question mark. <clears throat> you took off the blindfold Led me into the sun I studied your face And saw no reason to run I recognized you From some distant dream like when it rains on a cold day I had a chill in my bones Is it true what they say When you know, you know I'd been dying in the darkness Just longing to be seen So will you lead me Into the light I tried on my own to crawl through the night I'm running on empty So love, will you lead me? Yeah, our glasses were half full No matter how much we drank I told you I was worried You told me you were afraid well, I didn't smoke that night Cause I never wanna die So will you lead me into the light I've tried on my own, dear To crawl through the night I'm running on empty So will you lead me into the light Love 
Thank thanks you. a lot. Yeah. Salud. Salud, man. Cheers to you, dude. Thanks for Cheers. doing this. Pink drink. I got a burnt orange drink, and it's delightful, man. <laughs> burnt apple, orange drink. Apple, ginger, and cayenne pepper. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Where um, was I when that was being made? I, was, I asked you if you wanted one. You said no. I got a pink drink already. You never told so. me about the cayenne pepper, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, it is delightful. Thank you, Francis. Yeah, that'll be yes. my that'll be my road beverage on the way out of here. Yeah, we've also got uh, airplane bottles in case you want to pocket fifteen or so. <laughs> fifteen, <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sick. <laughs> it's be a great afternoon. Yeah, we um, so we know a bit about the production that happened on the on the forthcoming stuff that'll be out that you just just played earlier. Can we talk a little bit about the production of the hurricane wreck of My Love Is a Hurricane? Um, so I saw that there was no pre production on it intentionally, right? I mean, you're working through some things that were happening in in life and consequently doing the record without i mean not without prior planning that doesn't exist at all but but without pre-production planning and figuring it out in the studio can you talk a little bit about what that process was like for you yeah that was a fun one i mean all all the albums i've done prior to hurricane were you know uh these are the 10 songs i'd for sure want to do we book two weeks in the studio and go knock it out and uh, I always thought that was really cool and like romantic, like, yeah, we're pros, two weeks, I got it, you know? And uh, the, the older I got, the more I wanted to sit with something and I'd want to knock it out. So we did this over, goodness, year and a half for sure, at least. Um, and uh, yeah, we did it in Dallas and Jason Burt produced it and, um, and we took our time and we really did take our time on this. And it was great because there were a lot of collabor collaborators and a lot of, Musicians coming in and out, laying down parts, taking off. And uh, I think we tracked maybe 17 songs and 10 made the record. And uh, it was the time of my life. And it was really difficult and really hard. And, you know, there were many times we wanted it just to be over and so we could move on. But um, I think all in all, the work shows, you know, and it is the most uh, adult album I've ever released. And uh, I don't know if I ever want to spend a year and a half on something else again, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm very proud of it. More proud than I've ever been of something. And, um, was that? Did that coincide? Did that production coincide with pandemic stuff, or was that happening before the world shut down? It was all before the world shut down. Yeah, yeah, so for sure. Doing all that just felt like the right thing to do, and it was not a response to what's happening in the world. Correct. It was just the way that I wanted to do it. You know, it was very intentionally set up to be a long-term project, and uh, I had just got out of this uh, uh, side project called Glorietta, which is just a little like huge singer songwriter super group yeah. and uh <laughs> with noah yeah with noah and matt vasquez and um nathaniel rateliff and kelsey wilson and jason robert blum and she was here earlier earlier this week oh sick kelsey. right on dude i love her so much yeah um, sir woman yeah but that thing i uh, i was always so obsessed with having on the back of an album all songs written by david ramirez that was like this trophy to me and gloria had really allowed me to free myself from that weird uh, shackle that I'd put on myself and just let people contribute and have other people write a lyric or two or the whole the whole song for that matter. matter. And uh, so after Glorietta, you know, got off the road, that's why I did Hurricane the way I wanted to do it because uh, I fell in love with working with others for the first time in my life. Cool. And hopefully that never goes away. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, it's been a total pleasure to work with you here. It's been it was. Am I talking too much? No, dude. No. This is the exact right Are the amount people of talking. on the internet okay? Dude, we're. I, I'm positive the internet. Some of the okay. comments like, "Get to the songs." <laughs> I'm not looking at the comments because I can't send out the live stream from this computer. Oh, don't and look, look at comments, at the live. man. We would, That's just we the worst. The streams. But no, dude, everybody seems happy to me. Uh, I'm happy. We're 14 minutes into a thing that we averaged 26 minutes on, and we're just exactly halfway through right we're now. Cooking. So we're, right we're cooking. We're cooking with man. gas. Uh, what do you feel like doing third today? <clears throat> I'm going to do a song called Easy Does It. This is also off of My Love is a Hurricane, and this might be one of my favorite songs. Here's Easy Does It. It's always gonna be this way if you let it It only goes away if you make it Though misery is a faithful friend 
He does not deserve your attention Things break down and bank accounts run dry Love can be the chore you most despise And when you believe you've nothing left to give Look through the ropes and tap me in Easy does it Easy does it When the weight is adding up And you feel you might be crushed I am here to help you lift it So easy does it Easy does it Overwhelmed and underprepared get tired and we both get scared just like children we need a hand so when you're crawling I can help you stand easy does it easy does it when the weight is heading and you fear you might be crushed Well, I am here to help you lift it So easy does it So what's the point in having something If it only takes up space Cause it's always gonna be this way If you let it It only goes away If you make it Easy does it Easy does it When the weight is adding up And you fear you might be crazy Thank you. All right. Thanks, David. Thank you. Dude, that line, man, uh, love can be the chore that you most despise. That's That was when the goosebumps started for me. And yeah. they just sort of persisted the whole time. Oh, right on. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. We, um, I know that you are headed out on the road pretty soon. Um, yeah, a few days. Leave, yeah, uh, next Wednesday you're out with Matt Costa, who we got to cross paths with on uh, on at Jan's house on the back porch. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. We, we ate cronuts together. We had uh, blueberry smoothies together. It was delightful. <laughs> and um, that sounds yeah, very man. healthy of you guys. Yeah, yeah. There was. I'm proud. It was lady day. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was. It was the healthy time of day. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, right there was something else that was delightful. It was, we had the nicest coffee in the entire world available to us also. So it was just, it was delightful. We'd stop just short of kissing on the lips. But it was romantic. <laughs> it was very romantic. Which wouldn't have been bad no, at, not at all. all. Um, not at yeah, all. Yeah, Jan, what a host, man. What a, Every yeah. time we come out there in Nashville, he's always just so generous. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad That's you right. had a good time. Matt Costa and I have I've yet to meet, so I'm excited. Wednesday will be our first handshake, and uh, I'm looking forward to the month. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any particular, um, is this the, the most expansive tour you will have been out on since right. uh, everything shut down? Yeah. I just got back from a two and a half, three week thing. Um, which, you know, for 18 months, not, not doing something like that. Three weeks kind of felt like three months, you know, but so we'll see how a month feels when I get back. But, uh, I'm excited. In particular, no. There's not something specifically I'm looking forward to as far as cities or venues. I'm, 
I'm or just people, extremely people in those cities. What's that? People in those cities. Perhaps? Yeah, just just being able to stand behind a microphone again is uh, I'm very thankful for it. So um, just stoked, man. You could put me in a in a sewer, but if there was a microphone there and people are around, then I'm in. <laughs> Dude, there is. It turns out a sewer grate right there. There's a ton of <laughs> there's a bunch of frogs in it. It smells like oh, farts. Yeah. It's, I'm it's immediately gross, regretting my decision. <laughs> we, uh, uh, we're we gonna cut this broadcast. Up. We'll see you in the sewer in five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you so choose, man, we are uh, very happy to have you here in this beautifully acoustically treated room and not the sewer at Isn't Harlem Studios the best, man? This place is great. Yeah, man. So much history in this place. Ray Charles, Neil Young, Stevie Ray Vaughan. You know, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And we, uh, David Ramirez, here right now, and we've got even more music. What do you feel like playing fourth today? I'm going to play one song. Uh, this is a new one that will be on the, on the EP as well. This is called Put In The Work. Ready? Write a song Make a record Play a show Sell a t-shirt It's your first year standing on the stage You're thinking, when will I get paid? Well, there must be something wrong with the business Cause they ain't praising you like Jesus And you think, well, maybe it'll come together Maybe it'll all work out You've been pointing to the sky and scream Come on, help a brother out When the truth is that's all a lie If you're just wishing You ain't pitching strikes No, no, no Put in the work and Put in the time Put in the work Put in the time Well, politics Look better from the fence if you want the easy life, just avoid the argument. And take a picture of that sticker and then post it to your page. Then sleep like a baby while the world goes up in flames. Just thinking, well, maybe it'll come together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll all work out. You even point to the sky and scream, come on, help a sister out. When the truth is, that's all a lie. If you're just wishing, you ain't pitching strikes. No, no, no. Put in the work, put in the time. Put in the work, put in the time. Well, I've got a girl at home who's been asleep for several hours. And the sun's coming up in two and I'm doing drugs with a bunch of strangers. And I'm thinking she wants to change me. Yeah, she wants to take away my freedom. Well, maybe she just loves me. And wants me to stop dying and Then I think, well, maybe it'll come together yeah, 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 maybe it'll just work out I even point to the sky and scream Come on, help a brother out When the truth is That's all a lie If I'm just wishing I ain't pitching strikes No, no, no Put in the work Put in the time, kid Put in the work Put in the time, kid Yeah, put in the work And put in the time Put in the work And put in the time
put in the time. Thank you. Wow. <clears throat> Man, thank you thank so you. much for coming here and doing that. There's a lot of relatability in that particular tune. I like it a lot. Thank uh, you. Yeah, man. Thank you for doing this. And uh, best of continued luck on My Love is a Hurricane. Best of luck on the forthcoming release when those details are available. And have a great time with Matt, man. Tell him Thanks. that all the Pace guys said hi. Have a cronut with him and a blueberry smoothie <laughs> and all that. And, I will. Uh, I will do all those things for dude, sure. And